こんにちはジャパニーズアモのミサです元気ですか This is the fourth episode for absolute beginners Hope you enjoy it So in the previous episode we learned how to negate a noun Do you remember how? For informal speech you put じゃない after noun, right? But for formal speech you put じゃありません after noun For example, do you remember how to say watch? It's tokei, tokei. How do you say this is a watch? これは tokei です What about this is not a watch? これは tokei じゃない Informally, これは tokei じゃありません Today we are going to learn more adjectives. So, I already introduced some adjectives even in the first episode. For example, you guys know the word cute. Kawaii. What about hot? Atsui. 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 Montreal wa totemo atsui desu. It's very hot in Montreal. What you need to know before it is that we have two types of adjectives. One of them is called E adjective and another one is na adjective. Let's take a look. First, I will introduce E adjectives. Kawaii, cute. Atsui, hot. Urusai, noisy. But you can use like shut up. Okay, so if you look at the ending, all of them has E at the end. That's why it's called E adjective. So this kawaii, a lot of people miss one E. And they just say kawaii, but it's actually kawaii long vowel. Kawaii. But this one is very easy. You can just put in the construction x, wa, y, des. So, for example, if I want to say dogs are cute, then inu wa kawaii des. Inu wa kawaii des. What about this tea is hot? Tea is ocha. I mean, Say ocha, we usually refer to green tea, not always. So if you want to say black tea, say kocha, kocha, which actually means red tea. I think it's the same in Chinese. So how do you say this tea is hot? Kono ocha wa atsui desu. Kono ocha wa atsui desu. If I want to put the word very, I just put it in front of a, an adjective like in English. I say, Kono ocha wa totemo atsui desu. We often say totemo instead of totemo. There is small t. Totemo is just more like very hot. It's a bit slightly more colloquial. So, when you have to write an essay, for example, just stick to totemo without to. But we, when just speaking generally, it's fine. You can say totemo. There are more adjectives. For example, samui, samui, cold. How do you say winter in Canada is cold? We say, speaking of Canada's winter, it is cold. Then, Canada no fuyu wa. Samui desu. Canada no fuyu wa samui desu. What about the word interesting? Do you remember? Face white. Omoshiroi. Omoshiroi. So, how do we say this movie is interesting? Kono eiga wa omoshiroi desu. Before I introduce noun adjectives, I would like to show you how to say I like something. ラーブラーが好きです。For example, I like dogs. 犬が好きです。I like Pikachu. ピカチュウが好きです。I like Mrs. 先生。ミサ先生が好きです。I would be really happy if you leave that comment. ミサ先生が好きです。I like cats. 猫が好きです。So why did I introduce this one? I will explain this ga particle in the next lesson, but let's focus on this suki first. 
Okay, so suki is actually a na adjective, but you can't see na anywhere because it's hiding. Na adjective is so good at hide and seek. This suki na, the dictionary form is actually suki na. The thing is, na adjective, it's kind of weird. When there is a noun following na adjective, you have to leave this na. So suki na, for example, book. Sukina hon, sukina hon would mean favorite book. Suki des, it's actually not a verb, but it actually means likable. Something is likable or something is favorite. So, for example, if Fifty Shades of Grey wa watashi no sukina hon des, or Harry Potter wa watashi no sukina hon des. So this na adjective, remember, when there is a noun following, so you use like favorite or then you have to leave this na, but when there is no noun following, because this is actually a verb, then you cannot put na. I will show you more examples. Kantan na means easy. If you use some textbooks, it says yasashi, but never use yasashi as easy. It's just way, way too formal. So if you want to sound native, use kantan na, because yasashi can also mean kind. And when Japanese people hear the word yasashi, we immediately think of yasashi as kind. For example, if I want to say easy kanji, then I'd say kantan na kanji. So there is a noun following, so we, we don't drop na, right? So for example, if I want to say this is an easy kanji, then I say kore wa kantan na kanji desu, right? But for example, if I want to say this is easy, so there is no noun following, then I say kono kanji wa kantan desu. Kono kanji wa kantan desu. Kantan? It sounds funny, kantanna. So you can remember, I think. Okay, so the next one is kireina. Kireina, which means beautiful and also clean. So if I want to say beautiful person, probably woman, then I say kireina hito. What about clean room? What for room is heya. You can remember like a British woman comes into your room and says Hey ya, so kirei na hey ya, clean room. It can mean beautiful room. It's really all about context. Kirei na hey ya, kirei na hito. But for example, if I want to say something or someone is beautiful, then there is no noun following. It becomes something wa kirei desu. So when you look at kirei desu, you might think this is actually an e adjective, but it's not. It actually is na adjective. This is very, very common mistake. So don't forget kirei is actually kirei na, na adjective. It's just there is no na because there is no na following, okay? So if I want to say you're beautiful, but I don't want to say the word anata, because it's rude, so I have to say the person's name and is beautiful, right? So if I'm talking to the girl called Haruka, then Haruka wa kirei desu. Haruka wa kirei desu. You're beautiful, Haruka. Depends on the Japanese girl, but I think a lot of girls prefer to be called kawaii. But it really depends on the age as well. So young girls prefer kawaii. But maybe like moms, I mean, you know, if there is a milk, you might say kirei, not kawaii. Sorry for the weird example. So if you say clean room, it's kirei na heya, right? But if I want to say this room is beautiful, then I say kono heya wa kirei desu. Kono heya wa kirei desu. But if in informal speech, there is no desu, right? But still, there will be no na. So when you want to say, oh wow, how beautiful, oh beautiful, you don't want to say what is beautiful, then you can say, 
Ah, cute! So if you like see a really beautiful view, you say ah, cute. So you don't say cute na because there is no noun following. Okay, so I would love to show more examples, but I think it's enough for today. So please come back to the next lesson and we'll learn more and I'll explain the part Golga, which is still kind of to you guys. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, mata ne!